Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, we had a video driver crash, so I'm at eight wins, and probably, you know, would be due for a ninth win. I mean, check this out, we're Judas, Necropolis 2, 16 minutes into the run, I got anti-grab brimstone chocolate milk, but sadly, my computer has deigned that you will never see that run. So instead, we will start a new Judas run. Do I sound salty? No. <laughs> oh, Ooh, maybe a little, maybe just a little. That's okay. We're gonna make the best of it. Um, I, what's hilarious is that in the last episode, right when I was talking, well, the, the episode you will not see because the driver crash in the video is corrupted, I said, man, it's nice to have all these video issues sorted out so that I can just get back to doing my job. And then uh, it crashed, you know, 20 minutes into the video. Oh well! That was because I tried to record in uh, 1080p, I think. You'd think that by updating... This is exactly the same item I got from the first part of the last run. That's freaking me out a little bit. You would think by updating uh, your computer and using the same video card, you'd be less likely to have uh, issues. You'd be able to process it a little bit faster. I'm not a computer scientist, but uh, that, that was my theory. It's like, hey, if you had a car and you replaced the engine, but you left in the same transmission, are you gonna be okay? My, my thinking is yes, but ad admittedly I don't know how cars work. Maybe that would fuck your shit right up. Um, okay, let's blow this up. Hope for small rock. I mean, this is a great start so far. I can't be too mad about that. And we'll take our spirit heart. We'll use half a spirit heart to go into the curse room, and then I'll teleport out using the emperor card, and we'll head down to the next floor. Being honest, I'm probably not gonna hold on to the emperor card for what is like 12 floors anyway until we get down to the point where it would actually become more useful, so I think we might as well just bounce, and we got Dead Cat, uh, which is really interesting, because I got Dead Cat on my other seeded run as well. Did I even show off the seed for this one? WCL7TR2K. TR2K stands for Try 2000 to get a, a Rebirth episode done today. But um, I didn't get it in the same location, I got it from our first deal with the devil, but it's, it's very strange. Growth Hormones is new for me as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Uh, this is an incredible start, though. Like, I, I cannot muster any sort of indignity about this right now at all. We've got nine lives. We've got, uh, well, we got the poop, which is worthless. But um, we're Judas. we got a lot of spirit hearts. And we got uh, an extra bonus damage upgrade already. Mm, if that were some uh, red heart, or sorry, red chest, or maybe even golden chest action, I probably would have sprung for it. I don't mean sprung as in, like, you know, pay money. I mean sprung as in, you know, I would have had the cartoon sort of erection, like, boing, you know, that absolutely. You know, I'm not sure, you, you may not know this, but when uh, when a man loves a woman and, and gets a, a, a boner erection, it doesn't actually make that spring sound. That's just, like, perpetuated by by weird media. Um, it, it, instead, when it uh, does that sound, it does, oh, God. It, it, and obviously, I'm being facetious there. Okay. But it makes it very hard to have a clandestine erection, you know? Most of the time, you don't want a clandestine erection. It just kind of shows up, and you're like, oh, man, really? But that sound gives it away, and then steam comes out of your ears, and then um, your eyes turn into slot machines, and then a bunch of hearts show up on the... It's fucking weird, man. Thanks a lot, male anatomy. Uh, let's get down here. And we haven't been to our item room yet, but I'm gonna crank on this dingle for a while, which sounds like I'm talking about cartoon erections again, but I'm, I'm not actually. Uh, I'm just gonna kill this guy, and hopefully we'll have a deal with the devil that is not total garbage. Curse of the Unknown. I don't think I'll take that HP yet. Yeah, instead, it didn't end up making a difference, but we get precedent at least with Sacrificial Dagger here. We still have one more HP, so effectively we just got Sacrificial Dagger for free there. And, uh, well, I mean, let's... If you take the net positives and negatives, we got it for free, is what I'm trying to say. Not that we literally paid nothing for it. And we get Little Chad, which is not very useful for us at all. I'm going to walk into the fire to say thank you, Mr. Green Man, for the fire that you've given me. And uh, we'll place a bomb here. Get into our shop. And definitely be able to buy something. And I'm thinking mapping. Mapping, I would be excited about. There's options also good. And I think we'll probably decide not to take the Spirit Heart. Just get the heck out of town. We're four minutes deep, and we're uh, we're very strong on this run right now. We've got deals with the devil coming every single floor because of our precedent. Sometimes they're going to be Krampus. Sometimes they're going to be Red Chest. That's okay. Um, 
Apart from that though, nine lives. We also just got the goat head and a second guppy item. The goat head is, is largely worthless for us, obviously. The second guppy item is incredible. I'd say we probably have like a 75 or even greater percentage chance of becoming guppy right now. It's just off the top of my head. I don't have any numbers to back it up, but anecdotally, um, that, that's where I would peg my experience, I suppose. This is just an incredible chest there. We picked up like 15 cents, maybe even a little bit more. Again, I, I would like to point out, because I'm self-conscious about this stuff, I apologize for the, the video card issues we've been having here. The fact that it's a little framey on some of these room transitions and stuff like that. You know, that, that bothers me as much as it bothers you, I promise you. But, uh, we're working it out, and, uh, you know, the fact that the computer will stay on for more than 10 minutes and actually allows recording the majority of the time is a, a huge step up versus where we were at even a week ago, so... That's exciting, but there's there's still more work to be done. I'm thinking at this point it's probably a driver compatibility issue again, because I'm running this three-year-old video card on a, you know, probably a driver that came out like four days ago, but... D10, man, that is just a huge disappointment. I'm not going to take it. Again, like the D10, I resent a little, actually. Because I really think it has the potential to be an absurd and a fun item, but it needs a little bit more functionality. It needs to not just always be bad. Because the whole point of having an absurd run is that, you know, there's there's the point of it being bad is definitely, like, the, the possibility of that is part of the design. However, it also has the possibility to be absurdly good when you go into a one-room or a six-room re-roll an amazing run into a run that could be shitty, but sometimes you just, you know, you roll, uh, you know, deep, uh, double uh, sixes on that and you uh, end up getting an incredible run. So you need to have that possibility for greatness, as well as the possibility for utter oblivion, but, uh... Right now, we only have the possibility for utter oblivion. And it's not even a possibility, it's a guarantee. It's like some, you know, pain Olympics shit. Uh, let's... Rotate, rotate... Okay, you guys are sneaky. Never should have taken that damage. We will definitely go to our shop here. Let's remember we have theirs options. Take the time to think about what we would want with theirs options. What would we want? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we'll take Pandora's box here and just use it. I don't really love that, but we'll have to take it. Telepills. One room away is not so bad. Amnesia, not so bad. Lockdown, pretty bad. Why is amnesia not so bad? Because we're on a, uh, like, it's a linear floor at this point. And it's an early floor, so we're not gonna get too lost. But, um, yeah, that was a, a pretty terrible Pandora's box, but at least we got Steam Sale out of it as well. Uh, from there's options. Obviously damage. Probably after that we'd want tears. Probably after that, HP. Um, and anything that exists outside of that statistical framework, like latch key or something like that, we'll have to evaluate on a, on a case-by-case -case basis. But it's also plausible. We fight maybe pestilence, and this is all for naught. Hey, what did I tell you? <laughs> you heard of this guy. Now, we will get a deal with the devil here. The time is right for this to be a Krampus fight, in my opinion. Not a guarantee, of course, but a definite plausible outcome, and we're fine. Uh, I think we'll take Cube of Meat over 1 HP without any other attributes. Truth be told, I would have much rather had Krampus than the three red chests, but I guess the three red chests did give us a chance, at least, uh, of picking up... Uh, a guppy item, but that's unfortunate. Now we get no items and uh, no precedence. Well, we already have precedent, I guess. No items and uh, no no other benefits, so we'll just leave. And I think we've been all these ways, yeah. I'm confused now because we have Curse of the Maze as well, but I'm pretty sure this was the right way. I used telepills to try to, you know, proc an error room. Didn't happen. Life goes on. Curse of the Blind. Uh, I'd be more displeased about this if we didn't have nine lives. If we end up taking a gamble on a deal with the devil that takes all our HP and turns out to be shit, well, that was the breaks, basically. We did at least get another deal with the devil, we'll respawn with exactly the same amount of red hearts. And I'm not too attached to this life. This life right here is relatively weak. If we get a few uh, HP upgrades, I'll be less likely to just write it off completely, but um, at some point we want to commit to a life, but that's the beauty of having nine lives, is that your life is a resource, you know? We can, we can choose to throw a couple of them away to get extra deals with the devil, and the door to the deal with the devil should stay open after we die. Uh, well, that was a snap and a half on the frame right there, but, um, it should stay open after we die as a result of Book of Belial. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that it'll work like that, as long as we've used it. That should get him. What? 
fell like one pixel short there. Uh, oh, we only have one bomb, and I did this in the reverse order that I should have, but hopefully we'll get more bombs so I don't feel like quite as much of an idiot there. It doesn't make a huge... Basically, we just lost two bombs for nothing. It's not a like a game-losing problem, probably, but it is a, a fairly sloppy play for basically no reason. There's our shop. Probably can buy a bomb on there. Well, if they have stuff for sale, we can buy whatever we want. Because we have... 28 cents and the steam sale and again I'm, I'm looking for mapping not exclusively but explicitly when you got low HP mapping could be your best friend we're not gonna get damage probably I mean champion belt could show up and I would buy it very wholeheartedly this is our Krampus fight honestly on curse of the blind I guess I don't mind a Krampus fight as much as I would any other time cuz we're gonna get something half decent, and then I'll take the right item here. We got synth oil. I think that was probably the right pickup. It's gonna be hard to imagine anything being that out. Uh, not impossible, but difficult. And champion belt. Man, what are the odds? Okay, and we'll take a bomb, we'll take a spirit heart, and we'll take our key as well. Because we do want to be able to get to the shop. And the bomb purchase was basically, you know, one bomb for three bombs. Or let's put it this way, five cents for three bombs. Is that a good deal? I think when you have no bombs, it's a good deal, yes. Uh, we are now looking for our item room, and then we'll get the heck out of this floor, and Lump of Coal, Synth Oil, Champion Belt, it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty great floor for us, actually, all things considered, and we're really trucking along here. Now, it actually ended up being one bomb for five bombs, if I'm doing my math correctly there, which is a, a really good deal. That's a, a penny per bomb. And I think that's about the, the lot size that you want there as well. A nickel for five bombs. This is a pretty good trade. Oh, we got an arcade here. We got uh, ten frames per second as well, which is always exciting. We got the peeper. Probably not worth the time we spent getting here, but that's okay. We're going to be leaving Catacombs 2 about three minutes ahead of schedule for Boss Rush with enough bombs to conceivably get a teleport card. Or at least have a, a really good chance of getting a teleport card from uh, Necropolis and... Last run, the run that will never see the light of day as a result of uh, my own technical idiocy, uh, we had Brimstone and we were still a little bit slower than this. So that should give you some kind of indication of how this is going right now. Speaking of speed, there's Whipworm, which is not really that strong, but it's not bad. It's better than not having a trinket, and it's better than the, the truly heinously shitty trinkets as well. Uh, well, I would love to. That is not Guppy. So we will move on here. So far, really good on damage. I would still love more damage because, I mean, there's a chance that we actually could get through this run without having any more HP than this. Uh, the, the thing that will make that plausible is if we just stack up so much damage that, you know, we get to that position that I like to talk about where it's like, uh, oh man. It's like, um, you know, if we have nine lives to fight Blue Baby, we can do it on one HP consistently. Speaking of which, I'm not going to sweat losing the spirit hearts there. I, I probably should not have, especially considering my damage is so good. But we also don't need to worry about maintaining... Hey, that's awesome. We don't need to worry about maintaining a uh, lack of red heart damage because we have Book of Belial. So we'll just wait for HP to come back and then we can use our orbitals offensively as they are still our best damage dealer. Very, very unfortunate that we can't seem to uh, get a key here. Maybe inside of our secret room, which is not there. Still haven't really found a good opportunity to pop uh, skulls open either, and you know it's not just. Uh, and that feels like a secret room to me. It's not just uh, teleport cards that are useful here. Black hearts, runes, etc., etc. Wow. Disappointing, and not even the secret room as well. Okay, well we will wait for little Chad to pay out again. I've put myself in a very tricky spot. This would be a really stupid time. Not even bad, like we'd be doomed or anything like that. But it would be a really stupid time to lose 1 HP permanently. Like, we have we have no reason to be losing 1 HP on this floor. Uh, at this point, anyway. So, maybe we'll, we'll slow our roll on, on the orbital thing. At least on rooms with enemies that are likely to hit us. And there's some more bombs, which is actually quite comforting. No keys, but maybe maybe our shop is adjacent. Oh, that was bullshit. It was my own bullshit, but it was bullshit nonetheless. Needs to be like a new one, a new word where instead of bullshit, because bullshit, I find, implies that it's somebody else's fault. 
Secret room is definitely not going to be there. You need one that's like, like cow piss. And then that just implies that you're an idiot. But you understand you're an idiot, but you blame yourself. Like your brain is blaming itself for being stupid. That's, I, you know, if I take stupid damage, I'm going to try to make it happen. I'm going to, oh, cow piss. That's my own stupid damage. It's not going to catch on. You can tell me. You can be honest with me. Uh, this is a little risky. It shouldn't be. Um, all things considered, you know, champion bloat is not an easy boss fight. But it shouldn't be, like, prohibitively difficult. Is that my eye? No, my eye is the one with the, with the larger pupil. Yeah, just jump, like, a little bit more. I was thinking maybe you could do that and, uh... Really make my life exceptionally difficult. Don't jump, don't jump. This is a perfect opportunity for me to actually hurt you. Okay, we're gonna put a bomb up here. That did it. That was a little tricky, I'm not gonna lie to you. Curse of the Blind again, holy Christ. Uh, well, Guppy, Guppy's head, there we go. We have become Guppy, so that will probably guarantee us a win. I'm gonna go left this time. Jesus juice, we keep picking up the damage upgrades. This is pretty nice. Um, yeah, this is this is a really good situation. We're still ahead of the curve for boss rush. We still have no means of which to get into the item room of the shop. That could be worth it, sadly. Yeah, let's do it. We got again like two minutes ahead of schedule. We got two bombs. Unless we get a key drop from our uh, from this room right here, we're probably looking at that basically being in for this floor. I mean, I can't be mad. We got Jesus juice and we we became Guppy. But not being able to access our shop when I have steam sale is disappointing, and not being able to access the item room just in general is disappointing. So we'll be going down to the next floor, and uh, honestly, we don't need teleporting in order to uh, in order to scam boss rush on the next floor. We could just go in, pick up an item, get hit a couple of times, and when we die, we'll respawn on the outside of boss rush. Or we could do it depending on how we feel at the time. But um, all right, it's a good start here. No uh, no curses. There's our key. One room too late. But uh, at least it exists. Let's get the heck out of here. Again, it, bad form on my part. You should never do that. Uh, like, blow up the skulls when you're in tight on a room. Pretty fly is good. It's like a combination of like laziness and idiocy. But it did work there, but it shouldn't work most of the time. Blank card is fine. But I, I think I'm going to stick with Book of Belial. I don't have any cards. If I get some cards, like an Emperor card in particular, or... Nah, two of clubs isn't quite good enough. There we go. We got an Emperor card. All right. I completely... Uh, I will go back on everything I've said so far. We will use this blank card Emperor card. Makes it substantially more likely that we can beat the game with one HP. Because pretty much we're just going to be fighting bosses in a few miscellaneous rooms along the way. I'm only going to take one bomb because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this as justification to get pretty lazy. I want you to be forewarned of this. The laziness is, is going to be running rampant here. And the last thing I would want here... Or, I mean, not the last thing. The the thing I would want from our last shop here would probably just be, like, a luck upgrade, maybe. Fanny pack? I, I don't expect this to be that good, so I'll, I'll donate as much money as I can. And there you go. Um, the two keys. Why don't we open one of these, just see. Pick up enough money to get whatever we want, but we don't really want anything. So, this is good. A battery actually would have been substantially better. Uh, even a 9-volt, but especially a battery would have been so good now that I think about it. Get two charges on blank card, you skip two floors, then you can use the Emperor card. That's three floors done in like a, the blink of an eye. Do I want to do this? I don't, I don't think I really want to because I don't need any more guppy items. So I'd be hoping for red chest, but I'd be substantially more likely to just get troll bombs. Nah, let's not open that. Just go as far in as we can here. We don't have starter deck, so I don't want to hold two cards, so I don't need to blow up any skulls at this point. And I can't tell you how excited I am to have a fast run in the midst of my computer problems here, because this probably substantially lowers the chance that this episode will end in complete technical failure. So, we'll take the Polaroid. Uh, I will take the hairball, even though it's super not necessary. And then in here, I think we'll take Sad Bombs, and we'll Blank Card Emperor out. And I think we'll just, we'll do like four rooms per floor. That seems reasonable to me. We can obviously skip the big rooms, and, you know, this room's relatively easy. Why take the Hairball, by the way? My thinking was basically, again, uh, this life is worthless. 
We only have one HP, one spirit heart to back it up. If we lose this life, it doesn't matter that much. Does Guppy's hairball give us a huge benefit? No, of course not. But, uh, you know, it, it does give us some benefit. And again, like, if, if this life dies, the next life is worth pretty much exactly the same. So, it doesn't really matter all that much, in my opinion. Conquest is, uh, unfortunately for us, pretty much an irrelevant item. But we can take Placenta instead, which I will before we go into this room. And we get Judas' Shadow, which I will absolutely take. Now, that won't actually work until after, um... After all of the nine lives lives go. I know it's a confusing sentence, but, um... I... I still want it. I do want to go to the double key room, but I really can't justify it because we're going to the chest. I will, uh... I'll keep it up. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll go to one more room. I'm kind of thinking, is there a key in here? There's no key in here. You know what? I'll do the double key room. And then we'll Emperor card after we do our next room. I think we've got a, we've got a chance to get enough keys to open the chest ones anyway. Ah, it was like the inverse of what I needed. <laughs> if I'd gotten that golden key earlier, I would have been stoked. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically two keys for nothing. Oh, well. Shit happens. Uh, we got a golden key, so I think we open this. And we get our two keys back. And then we get the hell out of dodge. We'll kill it lives, and then we'll use the same pattern on the cathedral, but we'll we'll alter it a little bit for the chest. Because on the chest, we actually can pop the Emperor card, and this whole run stands a chance to be over before 20 minutes, which is actually pretty amazing, uh, considering we didn't get Brimstone or Mom's Knife or anything like that. Not that it's a bad run by any stretch of the imagination. It's incredible what we've gotten here, but still, uh, it's, it's surprisingly fast, even with... Uh, even with all the benefits we've gotten. I think, at least. The Guppy pickup just completely sealed it, obviously. So, if possible, we should probably teleport from our, uh... From our curse room. I left a key behind back there, which we should go back and get. Uh... Teleporting from the curse room just saves us the HP necessary. I'm not gonna get too attached to finishing in under 20 minutes now. Uh, we're at 1920 and we've got two floors to go, so... It's not, it's not actually implausible, but it's, it's fairly unlikely, I'd say. And we must have Nuns Habit or something, because we just got... Well, you know what? Instead of going to the Curse Room, why don't we go open three red chests in here? I think it's probably slightly better odds of getting something we want. Lemon Party. Just throw down. And Amnesia. I was incorrect. So you know what I'm going to do now is actually fight all three bosses, because they'll be done quickly. And then I'll teleport out of the Curse Room. Again, timing be damned. Admittedly, it just did give me some butterflies in my stomach. I'm like, shit, if I end up... You know, bricking this video 10 seconds before the end, I'm gonna be real mad, thanks to the display driver, but, uh... Whatever, okay? We're gonna... This is the right way to play. I'm not gonna let the game inspire fear in me. I'm not gonna let my own computer inspire fear in me. And there you go, we got two spirit hearts... Uh, on the house! Now, if possible... Yeah, wait for that, and then sneak in there and put a sad bomb. Because those sad bombs are gonna be quite potent. It's better when they don't block your own shots, but, uh, great nonetheless. Like, throw this bad boy in there. Eh, I think we're maybe better off just shooting for now. But on, on rooms, that's going to be much more valuable. Okay, get some spiders in there. Oh, we did it. Okay, Sacrificial Dagger carried its weight there. And I'm pretty sure that this run is over. I don't think we're going to die against Blue Baby. I mean, worst case scenario, we get four items we don't take. Best case scenario, we get four items we do take. Uh, it's going to affect our range a little bit with number one here, but our rate of fire is going to be incredible. And piercing shots, mysterious liquid, these are pretty good. And because we have piercing shots, we actually don't have our own bombs blocked by... Or we don't have our shots blocked by our own bombs anymore. So uh, that makes our sad bombs combo substantially more useful. And we are already done with this one. 20 minutes, 51 seconds, no brimstone, no mom's knife, pretty good. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button, helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future for now. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.